Alrighty, what well, morning everybody and gas time once again. And um let me go ahead and um uh, go ahead and intro this music real quick. This is gonna be Moths on the Tongue of Eternity. Original motion picture soundtrack, clickable version. No freaking clue on this one. Um yeah. Maybe I should I don't I don't know if this is just a, a made up advertisement or something. But uh I don't I don't recall ever hearing of a movie called Moss and the Tongue of Eternity. Um Yeah the screen's gonna go black here for a moment. But I yeah. It doesn't say anything. Well, anyway, this um, uh, this is another this is another tune that came from uh Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse, which uh all of their music is uh copyright free. So, but like I said, unless it's just some kind of like a made up advertisement for them. But anyway, I gotta. Anyway, I gotta move along. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and get this fired up. And like yesterday, um, or yesterday? No, not yesterday, but the day before. This is this might be a fairly long one, and it, um, there's gonna be a bunch of moving parts on this. So just get ready for some mistakes to be made. Um, I w but to start with. Uh, not a really good night. Um, just, just having the usual problems. Uh, laid down at 5 a.m. Just got like maybe an hour and a half of sleep due to due to sinus problems this time. And um, but just got up, got the stream set up, laid back down. I think maybe another hour, hour and a half. Uh, so just got back up and fuck it, just. Uh, went ahead and did my uh, I think I went my uh, I did my morning pinball stream, which which actually went pretty good. Um, yeah, made most of my shots. Um, but yeah, it did did damn good overall, and I even managed to beat a high one of my old high scores. Um, it was one of those time one of those tables where I got real lucky, and uh, I need a I need to take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. So anyway, but yeah, um, I beat the high score on this table like a long time ago. It was basically a fluke. Well, got the table again. Oh, um, for Pinball Arcade, Pinball Arcade, Zachariah, but not so much with FX3. I typically play random tables. I just, yeah, pick one at random and play it. Uh, do a single playthrough um, with uh, very rare exceptions. I have to have a good reason to do this, but I don't play the same table twice. I basically cycle, I cycle through as much of my collection as possible. So, but anyway, um, the getaway high speed two, it the uh, it came up again, played it, ended up beating my old high score. I'm like, yeah. So, and then um. Zachariah tables did okay on those, but those tables there are always hard. But uh, one um one mistake I did make those uh I made the mistake of uh, paying fifteen dollars for the brand new FX3 table that came out, Indiana Jones. Um, why? Um, copyrighted music. So with Star Wars music. Jurassic Park music and Indiana Jones music it doesn't play nice with uh, pinball FX3 um, oftentimes that those those uh, that kind of music there it will mute it will mute my stream vid my twitch stream vid 
Now, normally I couldn't normally I couldn't give two shits about this because back in the day, nobody ever watched my stream vids. You know, like you know, um, for those that don't know, um, when I stream on Twitch, Twitch automatically makes a recording of that stream, and then you can go you can go on my uh, you can go on my bio or my profile page at any time and watch any one of them. But uh, recently, people have been doing that. Like after my stream's over, people will actually go on and watch them, watch the uh, video afterwards. This seldom, if ever, happened back in the day. Like especially when I was streaming Final Fantasy fourteen. I mean, nobody. I mean, nobody watched those. But I mean, times are different. So because of that, um, muted, muted parts of my video I do take seriously now. I do take uh, copyrighted stuff more seriously because. I want the people that watch my videos to watch the whole thing in their entirety and not have like chunks of it being muted. So. And again, um, the Star Wars, Jurassic Park, and Indiana Jones, they're all, uh, they're all made by John Williams. So, uh, apparently he's fucking special or something and um, I don't know the exact mechanics of how copyright works, but it's like, it, it's almost like Nintendo. I mean, yeah, legally, they can be total assholes to the people that buy their games. Like, sue them and stuff like that. I mean, it's within their legal right, but I mean, just because you can doesn't mean you should. John Williams kind of strikes me as that same person, because, like, Nintendo, out of all the pin, all the all the pinball music that you hear on FX3, arcade, and I don't think there's any on Zachariah, but it's only his music that does this. It's just the John Williams music that trips the copyright. I mean, no other pinball music out there does this. Oh, I need to. I do need to rewind a bit. Um, some other tunes on FX3 and Arcade, um, it will get it will get picked up by YouTube with their uh, their copyright content ID software that they use. Um, content ID detection. It detects copyrighted content, and then you got you guys know the drill. If you've checked out my uh, cast vids, you know there's been times where where I've had to delete. I've had to delete my videos on YouTube because they got copyright claimed. That's the copyright ID system kicking in. Something on my video was uh, copyrighted, it tripped it, and then copyright claimed it. I always try to keep my videos ad free because that's usually what happens. If it gets copyright claimed, ads get thrown all over it. So. But again, a lot of. Uh, but with uh, John Williams's music, unlike most other types of music that would have uh, would have been picked up by YouTube, um, Twitch will actually mute mute uh, any any Star Wars, um, any Jurassic Park, and surprisingly, or in this one case here, it didn't happen. But Indiana Jones, I mean, they're all made by John Williams. So, but uh, Twitch Twitch will mute. Twitch will mute parts of my video that has that kind of music in it. So, that's how bad it is. So, but like I said, kind of re going back to what I was originally talking about, the $15 was a waste of money because now I'm going to be very skittish about actually playing it. Now, there is an option on FX3. You can turn off the copyrighted, mu copyrighted music, but the tables are going to sound like ass. Or, you know, because it's going to be total silence. I mean, it's not much of a Star Wars table if there's no Star Wars music on it. I mean, same with Jurassic Park. I mean, I've never seen any Jurassic Park movies, but, you know, it's not going to be much of a Jurassic Park table if there's no music in the background. See, it just, it just sounds stupid, you know. Might as well just play a classic table at that point. But once again, I if I had known about, if you know, if this would have crossed my mind at the time, I wouldn't have bought the table. So, so big 
whoopsie on that. And uh, the $15 is non-refundable. I'm uh, taking another drink. Oh, and a um, uh, bit of a brain fart. Um, I'm uh, probably about a half hour, 45 minutes ago, I had just taken my fourth nap. So yeah, I had four naps throughout the night. So I'm actually somewhat more refreshed, but this is gonna create problems because I wanna late, I wanna, I wanna actually try to get get some sleep like around five or six a.m. So here in a few hours from now. So no, I got this small feeling that it's not gonna happen. And um, this and my work week is started up, so it's Wednesday. So I guess I'll go ahead and say here. Don't be surprised if there's not going to be a stream today, or even on Thursday, or even on Friday. So, I might need that extra time to sleep in. So. Uh, but otherwise, just lots of idle champions had that up, had the game on all night. Nope, oh, oh, I forgot to update here. So. So let me out, but been having this game going all night. So I think it's let me level this girl up. Then swap all positions. God, I love this. And I've said it before on other casts, I'll say it here. One of my favorite things about this game is uh, the F1 to F12 leveling. In fact, it even shows down here. I just. I'm assuming you guys can see this? Yeah. Yeah, F1 to F12. Leveling your champion. You can use hotkeys to level your guys up. I can't recall any other idle games where you can do this. On all those games, you gotta do the shit manually. So let me level her up, let me level her up. Yeah, let's see. Toggle mute. Hey, cool. That's good to know. Plus these patrons. Oh, and uh, one other thing I wanted to show. Um, I just now discovered this like uh, yesterday. But um, for those that don't know, whenever, whenever you complete a run, you'll get a uh, you'll get uh, various faction currency, uh, depending on depending on where you're running. But uh, you have to actually complete the run in order to get the currency. But uh, you can take that currency and you can buy uh, various buffs. But um, but um, with the uh, with the currency that you get, it gives a boost to your gold find. It's a it's a gold boost. But as it show, but as it shows here, there's a uh, clicker heroes. You guys that might have seen me play this game, is like this as well. You don't want to you don't want to blow the whole load on on these various buffs, because it just reduces your gold mine. But I don't. Yeah, you guys can't see it that well, but. It, you can spend this kind of currency in various buffs, like uh, extra damage, um, uh, fat, uh, shorter cooldowns. Um, I think there's a. Uh, increase the damage of all champ. 
But, uh, and there's also various factions, like, uh, Torm's Favor. This is the, uh, starting zone when you first start playing the game. Then there's Kilimvor's Favor. I think that's the next continent, for lack of a better word. Same thing here. You just run stuff in that territory and, you know, damage buff, gold buff. Um, if you're fighting undead monsters, it lowers their health. Um, you know, getting a little sexist here. You can increase the damage from females, damage from males, but you get the idea. So, but again, I believe our clicker heroes had the same thing too. And then I'm gonna gonna grab this guy over here. And then you guys see me use these on these other on these other casts. They're called familiars. You can set them up here and they auto click for you. Clicker heroes have that. And um, you can also you can also set them on top of uh, on top of your heroes here too, and they'll uh, automatically click them when the uh, upgrade become, when the next upgrade becomes available. Like in this case here. Um, to the next upgrade. I wonder what that is. Okay. But yeah, it'll um but it'll click the it'll click the appropriate one. Whatever one you have set up here, so But like I said, been having this going all night, and if if I'm street if I'm gonna be streaming this evening or any time during my work week, like I said towards the start, it's up in the air right now. Um, it'll definitely be this game. So, and then um one other whoops, and then one other thing, um, I just discovered this channel a few hours ago. But uh, this is definitely something that I'm I'm considering I'm considering uh, playing during these casts. Like uh, like one 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 other thing I like about about Idle Champs is it's an idle game, so it hardly uses any resources at all. So I could have I could run other stuff like podcasts. I mean it's a it's a laid back game, so I can actually sit back and listen to the podcast. Um, but I'm considering uh. I'm considering uh, playing this stuff as well. It's called Soft White Underbelly. And there was actually an intro video that he had, but um here, let me let me embiggen this a little bit. But I mean you can you can probably tell, I mean, he does interviews with a transgender woman, a, a debt collector. I'm assuming the kind that doesn't contact you by phone and threatens legal action. He's just gonna bite, uh, break your fingers and prostitute, um, skinhead, I guess. He's a hacker, and drug addicted couple, um, a life on drugs, gang members, you know, you know, so on and so forth. But I don't, I don't want to play this stuff. If, um, if any of my viewers are going to be like, Oh my god, what the hell is this stuff? Ugh, turn it off! Ooh, this is this is gross! You know, that you know that kind of thing. Duh. Sexual compulsionist. Um, sex offender. So, but yeah, like I said, I'm I'm considering uh, playing this kind of stuff too. Um, in fact, in fact, I started watching a little bit of this guy. Yeah, he's a skinhead. Like a white supremacist. Started watching a little bit of him before I started putting this cast together. So, but I guess um, but if you guys wouldn't, if you guys want to be okay with this kind of stuff, let me know in the you know leave a comment or something. Then then I won't. But like I said, I'm considering playing this kind of stuff as well because doing a podcast and music thing. I mean, the podcast thing is already getting stale. And, and the music, you know, and I'm, I think I've been burned out on playing it for like God knows how long. Those that, um, those that know me know that I used to stream Final Fantasy XIV, and you also probably know that I used to play vinyl records 
I'm burnt to a crisp on doing that for so many years. So, I most certainly don't hate vinyl, but it's just, like I said, I'm burnt out on it. So, I, mean, still, I still love me some vinyl, but like I said, I'm burnt. So, but like I said, um, new channel I discovered, so I might be playing that during my, um, during my streams, unless asked not to. So, and then, another another channel I just discovered um jerky space body optics however the hell I came up with that name I have no idea but just like Janet um he's another retro gamer um here it is. it's probably gonna be easiest if I just start with his oldest content now it said that his uh his channel came out in 2009 so he's been on the scene quite a long time, but but yeah, he's he's play he's playing games that I was playing when I back when I was a little kid. I mean, Black Widow. Black Widow is probably um I'm not gonna play this very long, but yeah, I was. I was playing this game when I was a little kid. I, I don't, I'm not, not a little kid, but I was probably like, I was probably like 11 or 12 when I was playing this game. Um, Cosmic Chasm. I saw this game maybe that I can recall one time. Again, back when I was a little teenager. But, um, unlike Janet, though, all of these games are with an emulator. Whereas, uh, Janet was using the, was using the actual ROMs. Like, she actually got a hold of the, hold of the ROM chips. Um, all of her games are homebrew games. But, no, not, unfortunately, not this guy. But, I mean, I'm definitely not holding that against him. But, I mean, again, he's, and then there's, uh, Inferno. Never heard of this game before. It, it came out. I had to look this up. It came out in like 1984. But but it's like a it's classic William sound effect OD here. another game uh mid to late 80s yeah I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna click on any any of these because like guess because i think my uh the file size on this cast video is already gonna be pretty large yeah there's i robot uh star castle yeah um definitely showing this one though This ain't, the, yeah. This this ain't the one I know. I think it's a different version, but yeah, Robotron, all time uh, all time retro classic right there. He's he's got that. Uh, Major Havoc. I think um I was probably uh definitely a teenager when I played this game. Yeah, here it is. I think this is the uh, the original version of Star Castle. Yeah, it's even got like the uh, the yellow and red overlay, and it was a. Uh, otherwise, 
this game, this game would have been just black and white. Straight black and white, like, uh, classic asteroids. But they just took, a pla uh, a plastic blue, got blue, red, orange, yellow overlay over the screen. Let's see what else this guy's got. So, Major Havoc, already said that. Dig Dug. Yeah, I played that back in the day. Um, definitely a teenager. Tubin, that was another one. Um, yeah, I was probably, um, I was probably, like, in the upper teens when I played Tubin. Like, holy shit, this guy's a treasure trove. Although, I wish he would have condensed down some of this. Like, he's on iRobot. It's like, it's all just one level. Some more Black Widow, Dig Dug. Oh, and this, uh, Gombies, I'm sorry. It's a Japanese game, never seen it before. Cobra Command. Uh, Commando, Vanguard, yeah, Vanguard, I think, um, I was probably around 10 years old when I played this, uh, Commando, I was a teenager when I played that one, Cobra Command, I never heard of that one, but yeah, definitely watching more of this guy. Um, but otherwise, uh, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and call it good. I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so. But, but thanks a lot for uh, tuning in and checking me out, everybody. I appreciate that. And this is gonna be my last cast for the week. Um, like I said towards the start, of, like I said at the start, um, this is my work week has started up. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, you won't. So you won't you won't be hearing from me until Sunday morning. And to reiterate once again, um, there is probably going to be a chance that there won't be a stream today, and possibly Thursday or Friday as well. If you know if I can't if I can't get a full day's sleep, then yeah, I'm going to be forced to sleep in. So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody. Always appreciate it, and see you all next time. Bye for now.